All right, guys, I've gotten some requests for rod and reel and tackle reviews and that sort of thing, so I figured it'd just be best if I gave you a quick tour of my man cave. Um, we'll start off by showing you some of my my mounts here that I've gotten over the years. These are uh, fish replicas that I've gotten of some of the bigger fish that I've caught. And one of the one of the key things that helps me out whenever I'm on the lake is uh, tackle organization. I like to keep everything neat and in order, and that way you don't have to waste time while you're out there on the lake. I'll, whenever I get back in, I'll put things away. I try to group everything or categorize them by the lure types. And as you all know, I love topwater fishing, so you can see all my topwater baits here on the top. Got a lot of frogs, lunker hunts, pro, that sort of thing. Got some more frogs here. Uh, buzz baits, other topwater lures. Yeah, you know how much I love ribbit frogs. Got a lifetime supply of those. This is the top toad. That's the new floating frog. Got some chatter baits and trailers, jigs, that sort of thing here. And then some terminal tackle and trailer hooks, that kind of thing there. All right, then you go, you got my tackle box. I'll store everything that I think I'll be fishing with in here. Got the hummingbird, the depth finder, and the hydro wave. All my rods and reels. I've got a lot of ducket rods, uh, quantum, torque, AVD rod and reels, G Loomis. I've just now started fishing a lot with lose reels. I really do like them. You got extra tackle storage back there behind the rods and reels. These are some of my bigger swim baits. You got the bull shad and you got the uh, ultimate bluegill there. And if you guys hadn't seen this new product made by Deeper, I know a lot of you guys are bank fishermen and uh, you don't really have a boat or any way of getting a transducer out in the water. Well this is a new depth finder that it allows you to tie the transducer to the end of your line and throw it out from the bank. And the neat part about it is that it syncs with your iPhone or smart device. And um, so you can watch, you know, your depths as you're reeling it in. And it's a, uh, it's a new piece of technology. You'll be seeing it in some upcoming videos. You got some uh, GoPros there, and that's how I do some of my filming. That's my dog's bed. He hangs out with, with me here a bunch. And this is my dog Milo. I'm sure y'all might have seen him in some of my old fishing videos. He's my fishing buddy. Give me shake, shake. Good boy. I'll be tying on some hooks here, uh, doing some reel repair, lubricant, that sort of thing. All right, and then in my closet, you can see I use my rack there for treble hook baits. I like to store them all there. It's a good place to keep them from getting tangled up. And down here, I keep all of my soft plastics organized in bags, you know, depending on the bait type and that sort of thing. And whenever I'm getting in my tracker, I can just come grab whatever type of bag it is that I need, worms, lizards, whatever it is, jig trailers, and I can just throw those bags in the boat. That's an easy way for me to keep organized and uh, fit everything in the boat. Then we got some uh, some spare reels here. Some JJ's Magic. Really like that stuff. It's a good attractant. And over here, I keep all of my extra baits, my worms, crank baits, hooks, that sort of thing. And what I'll do is I'll take advantage of these online sales or Bass Pro Shop sales. And I'll stock up on them and I'll use them, you know, store them in here and use them the rest of the year. You got some more scent there in line. You can see some of the fish I caught whenever I was a kid. Back in 94, man, that's been 20 years ago. It's hard to believe I've been fishing for that long. And you also, uh, one tip I'll give you guys is what I like to do is get a calendar at the beginning of every year and I'll... I'll mark every fishing trip that I take, or I'll try to mark it, you know, if, if there's something significant. 
and that way at the end of each year I can go back you know this time in 2013 I can look and see what they were biting in January and uh, so on and I've got years worth of calendars that I can go back and look at and um, and see what they were biting at that certain time and although the weather pattern changes I try to keep the weather if there was anything in particular about the weather I'll put that on there and it's really good tool you know for for going back it's kind of keeping track of your own little database of fishing trips and that's about it for the man cave this is where a lot of the behind the scenes work gets done and all my tackle prep and that sort of thing for my fishing trips and I want to end by showing you guys a stringer mount that I got uh, several years ago I caught all these fish one summer and got the replica mounts made got them to do it like you're holding a stringer full of fish up out of the water he added some moss and that sort of thing there that's a pretty neat mount but guys let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like me to go in more depth lures rods reels and uh, stay tuned. We got some good stuff coming up in 2015.